everyone so today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make your own custom money card I had such a great time creating these custom cards super easy to create so here is one of them right here hope you can see that and then I did another one for my little sister she's in love with Ariana Grande so this one is right here she loves Ariana Grande um, I was like let me create that one too but I had a really great time creating these cards and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how you can create your own. So I am using Canva. I have a link for you guys in the description of this video. I'm going to create an eight and a half by 11 size paper. And if you click worksheet, that will be the right size that you need. So now we have a blank canvas that is the size of the paper that I am using. So I would suggest using some type of cardstock paper. Um, I usually get mine at Michael's, but I'll have a link for you guys down below. Now, next I'm going to go to elements to pick out the shape that I want for my custom card. Now I decided I wanted a rounded shape. And so I'm first going to create a shape that's rounded, but that's a frame. The frames on Canva allows you to drag an image inside of it so it can clip it into that size. And you'll be able to see that as I drag the image in. So this is what it looks like. And so next, what we're going to do is um, I am going to add the ruler so that I can know what size it is. And you can see the guidelines on the left-hand side and at the top. Totally optional, but I think it's a great thing to have just so that you know what your measurements are when you're adding in um, different elements of your card. So I'm gonna just move it around and adjust it like so, and also duplicate it. So I will be creating two cards for this tutorial. Um, definitely just have fun with it. It's so much you can do when you're creating these cards. So I decided for my first card, I wanted to do Ariana Grande because my sister is a huge fan of her and her birthday is coming up. So I thought this would be a great birthday card. So before I add her image in, I am going to go to elements and I want a gradient background. So I'm going to type in pink gradient and see what comes up. And if I like anything, I will drag it in. Now you see how that color, the background has been clipped to the size of the um, frame that we grabbed. That is what will happen when you drag in your image. So I'm gonna remove the background of Ariana Grande and then I'm just gonna move her in. Now you could decide if you want an actual image to be the background or you wanna add the image on top of a background. So I'm just adding her on top of the pink. And I'm just playing around with things. I decided I wanted to add shadow. I realized I didn't like it, so I removed it. Just make sure you're having fun and just getting really creative. Okay, so next I'm going to add a border. And this is where we're gonna put the money. This is totally optional. However, I think it's a great look to the money card. And if you want to, you can actually add text to this part where the money will be held because when they remove the money then they get to see that message inside um, so once again totally optional but this is what mine is looking like so far and then next i'm going to add a circle and this is where we can put how much is on the card how much money are you adding to the money card so i'm probably going to do something like twenty dollars you know, and um, you could add as much as you want, but I'm going to put 20. And then I'm also gonna change the color of the font so that it could be green, like the color that Ariana Grande is wearing. So next I'm gonna add different elements to the card because it's a birthday card, right? So if you just type in happy birthday for elements, you'll start to see different things like gift boxes, balloons, um, and I decided this is going to be my final look. I played around with it and I like it. So I put happy birthday and I'm pretty much done with this one. That is pretty much it. Now I do want to show you how you can create another 
uh, card because if you have an element that's an actual shape, you have more free form to decide what the height and width would be. If you do the frame where you're able to drag an image inside, the dimension will be the same all over. So this is just some images that I've been playing around with. I've been really having fun with this project. So you're going to see, I'm going to show you two of them that I'm going to print out. And then we're going to put those into to the uh, Cricut Design Space. So we're going to download this. Make sure that you click download and then click transparent background and then download because that way when you download it, you won't have anything in the back. It would just be the image, just like you see it here. So next we're gonna go into Cricut Design Space and take both of our image. Um, I decided to upload it and click complex and then add and continue. And then make sure you click print then cut image, right? Because this is a print and cut. All right, so both images are inside. I decided I wanted to add the circle so you can see it's giving that um, I just got it at the store look <laughs> when they put things on a rack. So I decided to do that. And if you decide you want to do that and have the machine cut it out, just make sure you add that circle, highlight both, click slice. Well, first click hor align horizontally and then slice, okay? Align horizontally in the center and then slice. Once you do that, then you can delete that circle that you added. And then you can see here that it did the circle for you. Okay. So now we're going to move forward. I'm going to print the image out and press continue. And then I'm going to send image to my printer. And I meant to take off where it says add bleed and I left it on by accident. So feel free to take it off or leave it on if you decide to do so. And then I also toggled on the signal for the system dialogue so I could change my print settings, okay? I wanted to get the best quality of the paper that I was using when it came to the printing. So you see how it looked, nice and vibrant, and I'm going to take it to my Cricut machine and have it cut out. So I made sure that the pressure was on more and it was on cardstock. So now it's cutting it out. And this is what it looks like. So you can see here on the edge, it's a little bit of white space here. It was slightly off, nothing too crazy. Definitely meant to turn off the bleed, um, but you know, it looks fine. So we're going to add our money. Um, but let me tell you guys, these plastic pouches are sold out everywhere as of right now. So I had to buy some lipstick and lip glosses just to get the plastic. So I'm using this glue away spray that I got from the 99 cent store that will allow me to take away the adhesive from the plastic that was on the lip gloss. So I cleaned it up, added some water just to make sure everything was um, nice and clean. And then I'm going to take my double sided stick tape. I got this at Dollar Tree. I will have links for you down below if you want an alternative. And um, all you got to do is just put it on there on the plastic. So now we're going to take our money. This is obviously not $20, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to take my $1 bill and just roll it up. And then we're going to add it inside of the plastic. Okay. So you want to make sure it's nice and snug in the plastic and then you just place it on top. And make sure everything is nice and centered and just press it down around the edges. And the Dollar Tree tape, by the way, did really good. It held down really, really well. So that's the finished look. This is all you have to do. Like I said, make sure you're having fun with this. Um, even create some mock-ups just to see which one you like the best. And I'm doing the same thing for the other card. You just take the plastic, press it down, and that is pretty much it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. If you would like to see another video for our next tutorial, please make your suggestions down below in the comment section. I'll see you all next week for a new video.